This particular example here is a waterproof membrane attached to it as a closed cell foam. It's a four inch wedge that's adhered to the building paper and we'll demonstrate the installation of this product. So once we've applied the envelope sealant into the corners of the sill pan and the king stud, we can take our sill pan flashing, embed it into the envelope sealant. Now any bulk water will drain out onto our sloped sill. Now we can take our setting blocks and apply it directly over top of our sill pan supporting our window. Now we have our sill pan flashing in place, we can install our window as per manufacturer's recommendations, plumb, level and square. When we have broken or cracked or damaged flanges, there's a simple repair. So now that we have our sill pan in place, our window installed as per manufacturer's recommendations, plumb, level and square, we can now take our envelope sealant and apply it directly over the nailing flange onto our substrate surface. The product envelope sealant is being ejected out of the gun under pressure. Therefore, it's wicking into the areas around the flange through the pre-punched nail holes, sealing the window to the wall. In some instances, the builder may wish to embed his building paper into the envelope sealant. As demonstrated here, we've pre-cut our paper lower than the window and above the window in accordance with building code. At this point, no water should penetrate above the paper or moisture penetrating the paper will not enter the rough opening from behind. So now that we've applied the envelope sealant over the nailing flange onto the substrate, we've attached our building paper, or rather embedded it into the product. No moisture can penetrate on top of the building paper, or moisture that is penetrated from behind the paper can enter into the rough opening. 